Okay, so I'm going to give some uh, closing on the uh, Super Yoke Me thing. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to go through like a uh, rundown of the stats, my personal thoughts on the changes in the stats, then share some of my experiences and whatever, the more fun stuff, less important stuff towards the end. So first of all, let's get the important stuff out of the way, breakdown of the stats. Weight went down, obviously, I lost like... 8 pounds, I think, over the course of the month, and this is, I've postulated due to one of two reasons, or a little bit of both. First one, easy one to explain, is just that I burned more calories than I thought I did. I I probably underestimated the number of calories I needed a day, and obviously as a result, I just slowly lost weight. The other possibility is that because I was eating two big bulk meals a day, and because the food I was eating was kind of hard to digest, you know, there was a lot of protein per meal, and protein tends to be the most difficult for your body to utilize as, sim as simply like an energy source. I thought that maybe because of those two things that my body was unable to derive 100% of the calories or energy from each meal, which would mean that I'm not actually eating or getting enough of, or getting as many of the calories as I thought I was. I don't know how plausible that is, but it's, I think it's possible. I think it's possible. So for one of those two reasons, uh, I lost weight. Uh, next we have blood pressure and heart rate. Obviously not much to say there because they really haven't changed. Uh, heart rate was big at the, end, the beginning of the month, but that's because I was sick. And also in regard to sickness or health, you know, I started off sick, but then I got better. And uh, except for that, I mean, I've been perfectly fine the whole month. Physically, I feel fine. I've been able to continue performing just as well physically as I have been ever uh, as far as like prolonged cardio or whatever goes I feel the same as ever um, so yeah even though uh, the obvious uh, last thing to talk about is cholesterol uh, the accuracy of the tests is unknown to me but because you know they've went up every time that was a consistent thing I would say it's safe to say that it my cholesterol went up uh, I don't know if it went up as much as it said it did to 290 or whatever, which was like almost off the chart. It's possible, whatever. Uh, but here's the thing: I didn't experience any negative health. You know, I felt exactly the same. I've been able to perform just as well physically. Uh, I haven't had any heart attacks. So I think uh, maybe we need to start looking at um, cholesterol being high or low as having no relation to uh, adverse health effects because my cholesterol being high, if it was that high, and it probably was, um, had no negative effect on my health. I still feel fine. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. I mean, I did, I did a little bit of quick searching on the internet right now, but I'm uploading some other video, so it's like kind of a pain for me to search around, but from what I saw, apparently uh, high cholesterol isn't necessarily linked to health problems, but whatever, I'll have to look into that more later. So uh, anyway, some uh, thoughts on the thing, you know, uh, was it hard for me to do, would I do it again, um, it wasn't that bad, you know, you gotta exercise a little bit of discipline to make sure that you don't stray from the meals that was kind of a pain you know uh, towards the end of the month I was actually having dreams where I would be eating other food like I, I can specifically recall this one dream where I was eating uh, like this cinnamon sugar cake thing and like all throughout the dream I just kept thinking to myself I can't be eating this I can't be eating this I'm gonna ruin the super yoke me thing and when I finally woke up I was like oh god it was just a dream thanks Thanks, body, for not caving in and eating some weird food. And I was having dreams about eating bananas and pizza. and it, This all was happening in, like, the last week or two of it. So I don't know. I was getting a little delusional, I guess. And my body was like, please eat something else. Uh, but strangely, the thing I was craving the most when I was awake was broccoli. I don't know why that was, but I just really wanted some broccoli lately. Uh, so I did have that. But, um, yeah, I mean... It wasn't really that hard, and I felt great throughout it. Not that I felt bad in particular before it, but, you know, whatever. It was cool.
that was super yoke me, man. Uh, and if uh, I have to say one thing about eggs, it's that I think people should eat more of them. Those things are cheap. Those things taste great. They got a lot of nutritional bang for your buck. And you know what? I was eating a lot more than a normal person would even eat. You got people freaking out over eating, you know, like, more than two eggs a day. Like, oh, you can't eat three eggs in a meal. Or you can't eat three eggs one day and then three eggs, three eggs the next day. You're going to have, like, heart problems. And here I am eating 15 a meal, 30 a day for a whole month. And nothing happens. But, um, yeah, so I just think people should uh, stop being so afraid. You know, enjoy your eggs. They're good for you. That's all.